Hello and welcome to the 15th video in this beginner series making an application using Vue and Vuetify. This video then um, inside the application where we finished from last video basically uh, where we can select a player, view a graph with hard-coded values. What I'd like to do in this video um, if we remember back in the code that inside open player dialog we were logging to the console the selected player in this case uh, I've got Tony Cruz on the right hand side if I click on name we've got some other keys with some values behind uh, behind them in this player object we've already used the overall and some of them in the uh, in the table I'd like to make our graph contain the def the DRI for dribbling PAC, PAS, physical, shooting, and the overall score. So all these scores here, I'd like those to appear inside our graph dynamically as we click our player. So how are we going to do that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to, in the, if I just go back to the code, we're going to pass to our draw chart, we're going to pass our player object to our draw chart. And then inside our draw chart, where we've got our player object coming in, what we're going to do is instead of using the hard-coded chart data here we're actually going to recreate this chart data object dynamically the way we're going to do that is we've got our player passed we're going to basically take a list of uh, these keys so def dri pacps loop through this list and access each of the values inside our player object to recreate our list of values for our graph. That might not make much much sense said like this, but hopefully it will uh, shortly. The only thing we need to be mindful of is that we create an object or a variable chart that's exactly the same format as uh, chart data here. So it's a list with an object inside that has a key called key with some text key called values and then the values themselves are a list of objects and each of those objects has a key called label and a key called value and you can actually change these key names here uh, you could put uh, attribute for example or something like these these actually correspond to the label and value that we see here where you've got the dot x and the dot y and you can see in my other video series on nvd3 um, if you log this d object to the console what you'll find is that it represents one in it or in turn each of the objects in this values list so the first one will be looking for d dot label would be a and d dot value would be minus 29.76595 etc in this one what we want to do is change this to represent the key attribute for our name for our player and then the corresponding value for that attribute so it's actually not too complicated i'm sure you've long ago got the idea and i'm drifting on and drivelling on a bit so Let's create our function then. So it's going to be called get bar chart data. And the first thing I want to do is put in our list of keys that I actually want to loop through to get hold of our data. Now, the only thing I have to say is a bit of a caveat here is um, for our example, it's fine doing this like this. But of course, if you had your own full application where you were writing the backend API as well, you would write the backend API to give you this list already and loop through it. It's a bit easier for us to see it with the list here as it is. But you would want that probably in the back end so that if anything ever changed you would just need to change it in the back end not both in the back and the front end the next thing i want to do is i want to be able to store my uh, i want to recreate my values list as i've got here so i'm going to create something called data which will hold my values lift list sorry and that what i want to do is i want to loop through each of the attribute keys that i actually want to get from my player object so i've got a loop here which is going to leap through loop through def DRI, etc, etc. And then for each loop, just to break things out, we could do this all on one line, but I'm going to break it out a little bit. I'll take each key by key and uh, one by one and store it in here. So this will be def, then DRI, then overall, etc. Now what I want to do is I want to push an object onto my data list here. And essentially what I'm doing is saying, please add a new object onto my data list where the label is the key. So def, DRI, overall. And the value then is whatever's inside my player object for that corresponding key. And the last thing I want to do for now, just so we can visualize this a little bit easier, is just log that uh, data object um, or that data list, sorry, to the console just to see what we've got when we call get bar chart data. I'll just drop that actually in front of here like so, so we know where we are. Last thing I need to do is call this function get bar chart data. So I'm going to scroll down to draw chart, call the function here, and put my player inside it, and save. And now when we draw a chart, then we'll get this. Hopefully, our data then 
logged to the console here so we can have a look whether it's constructed correctly. So I'm just going to refresh the site, hopefully not find a stack of errors. And now selecting Aguero, you can see that I've got get bar chart, job, get bar chart data, data, and then if I look at my object, I've indeed got a list of objects with label property and a value property. So Aguero is not very good defensively, which we all know because he's a striker. Well, you know, if you follow football or soccer in the US anyway, um, but everything looks as it should be there. So we know that we've made this part here okay. What's remaining now is actually just to return an object that has exactly the same form as our chart data here. That means, and I'll call this data chart. So here under data chart, what we actually want then is a list. You can see I've got here, I'll separate this out a little bit like so with an object inside, so exactly the same as our chart data, with a key then, which just identifies the, the chart, and then our values in our case will be the values that we've made with our data list here. And last but not least, all we need to do then is return our data chart, and we have our function returning our chart data in exactly the format as we had our chart data here. So I can remove this now then, and what I can do is I can put the call to get uh, bar chart data. Instead of having it there, I'm going to replace our chart data here. And that's actually all we need to do to be able to visualize the data for our player. So I'll just refresh, load, click on Marcelo. And now you can see that we get the data for Marcelo. The last thing I want to do is I just want to change the color of these bars and in later videos we'll start moving a little bit more into the styling as it was in the first video when you saw the application but at least let's stop the bars being lots of different colors here and it's relatively simple it's very simple in fact in MVD3 when you know how to do this we just need to add on um, dot color option onto the end here sending in one string into an array of a hex color that we want all our bars to be if you wanted each bar to be colored individually you can actually send an array in with a value representing with a, val a string value a hex value for each one of the bars if you just send one in it'll color all of the bars to that particular color i think that's a blue there so i'm just going to save that refresh the site and let's load up uh, Brazil again, select Marcelo, and now all the values are in a, a horrible light blue, sort of matching the toolbar and clashing very, very nicely because I can't design interfaces. Okay then, so we've got the values up displayed for our player, for Marcelo. Let's just take another player and check that everything's okay. Yep, these values are all different. Um, that's it then for this video. Um, hopefully it was uh, relatively easy to follow along. It's fairly simple stuff. It's not very complicated. These, these frameworks are great. Also NVD3 for putting things together simply and easy and very, very quickly. But any issues or anything, then feel free as usual to uh, make any comments, questions or criticisms below the video. Otherwise, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.